What's up, everybody? Hami Rabbit here on a set of courses to show you guys the final lineup of the five cars that I've chosen to build for the Drift Invitational. So all the other ideas that you guys have been giving me are great ideas for cars, and I will be probably doing them in basically standard car packs, not the competition ones. I love building cars and doing all that stuff. So we're going to take a look at the five comp cars that I've chosen. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And apparently... On Epic Games, I have 98 friend requests. So make sure you follow me on social media. Let's get to this. Let's look at these cars. So, if you guys have been following the channel with the Drift Invitational stuff, you guys know about the Mustang. Now, the Mustang does have the wheels off Chelsea Denofa's now. Those wheels do not poke out that far. So, it does have the wheels off Chelsea Denofa with the green stripes and everything like that for indication of handbrake and locking up and stuff like that for judging purposes, as well as the third brake lights and stuff on that nature. You guys also know that I am doing the livery contest. So, as for the livery contest, I've already gotten a few submissions in. Big thank you to everybody who's competing in this livery contest. The submissions are amazing. Some are simple. Some are very intricate. But it's awesome to see the simplistic ones and the intricate ones because sometimes simple is better. So when it comes to the deadline on that, I want to go for another two weeks time. So two more weeks time for judging for to get your entries in. So make sure you get those submissions in. Make sure you guys check back to the video. I'll leave the link for the video for the files and everything in the description box below. If you guys want to enter in to get a livery on this Mustang, I may be picking a couple liveries now and maybe have four or five of you guys' liveries on the car for the actual pack release of the comp cars. So the Mustang is here. You guys know about the new vet that was based basically off of Matt Fields' vet from Forza Horizon 4. So, the Drift Vet, definitely awesome with those rotiforms and everything in there. And of course, you know, we have the third and fourth brake light, as well as, you know, the markings on the wheels for handbrake identification. And then, last video, you guys did see the M235 get dropped. So, you guys know that the M235 is also in the competition pack that I'm building. Oh! Apparently, I clicked out of that. So, it's a very nasty car. I love the M235. It is off the Kunos M235 race car with, of course, you know, handbrake and stuff in there. I kept the M wheel in there just because of the shift lights with the NRG seats, third brake lights as well, rim indicators as well. That's the trend on all the cars. So, the other two cars that I've picked for the lineup is, of course, that A90 Super that everybody's been asking to have in there. So, we do have the A90 that was originally built at about 500 and some horsepower is now up to the 820 spec comp with, of course, the banner, third brake lights, and stuff like that, and the indication of that. Now, all these cars are definitely are going to be getting liveries that I'm going to be making myself. They're all going to be different colors, cool liveries, and stuff like that. The liveries will probably be the same for the car, just different variations of colors. And the final car that I've picked is a car that I've been wanting to use for a while but couldn't get it to handle right, but it handles great in this power band and stuff, and that is the 370Z. So this 370Z is probably the only car in the pack that's got a big wing. So the 370Z is a right-hand drive Z. It is a VDC version of 350Z that I've changed the physics and stuff like that. So if it looks familiar, it's probably because there is a VDC version public car out that has this, but of course it's got the energy seats in there, energy seat belts and everything like that, rim indicators, third brake light, fourth brake light, and so on. So these are the five cars I'm going to be running in the competition pack. So definitely super excited to get these out to you guys very soon, and the invitations are going to be going out as well. But two weeks left for that Mustang you know, livery contest. So get your submissions in. It could be something as simple as, you know, a couple little designs on it with, you know, the logos and stuff. Now, you can add other logos to the car. Like I said, please keep it respectful. Please keep it clean. You know, these liveries are going to be on the car. So don't do anything, you know, that you wouldn't want to have in public. I can't say that because some people run some weird stuff on cars. But Keep it clean, keep it appropriate. You guys can have other logos on the car, such as, you know, other sponsored logos and stuff. You just have to have the Evil Rabbit logos and the Energy logos on there. Those are a must. Everything else is up to you. Use your creation, use your creativity, 
make the liveries look cool and maybe you'll get a chance to have them on the spot on the mustang for the compact i'm thinking maybe one to five spots that i may actually pick so like i said i've got a few submissions already and they're pretty cool so definitely get on that if you guys want a chance if you guys are graphic designers and stuff like that get on that livery contest submit it to me team evil rabbit at gmail.com all the information will be in the description box below for the video for all the rules and details on what files you need. So without further ado, less talky talky, more drifty drifty. I think my buddy Nate is over at Tuscuba VDC, kind of warming up a Mustang. And uh, we're going to go take the other cars out there. We're going to try and maybe get some tandems. Track is not the best for him. He's still learning it, but he's also still learning the cars. So we're going to go try and get some tandems, have some fun in the A90 and the 370 to give you guys a little bit of a look at those cars actually in action rather than just sitting here in a showroom. So I'm going to hop in the server and we're going to go get this started. Okay, I'll let you lead then. If I do a good run right now. <laughs> So, to Scuba Circuit and Nate are not friends just like you guys know when it comes to me and Torque Drift and, you know, the wall at Irwindale. This is why to Scuba is not Nate's friend. I mean, I'll take that pass. <laughs> okay. Is that a legal pass? <laughs> I don't know, but I cannot get the feel for track ever. <laughs> My life. I think that's I'm just hitting pits buttons. Yeah, we're gonna go to another wow. track. <laughs> Woo! Boost is all the way up. So we are at OSW now. We're gonna try and get some tandems in the A90. Fifth gear. Oh man, yes. Gonna take a little shallow. I would have gone through that clip, but not a terrible run in the car at first. I know you guys have seen this A90 Super before, but now it's got more power. And if you notice the Super logo glows, we... so much more power. So much more power. How about 340? Did you, put, did you make the Super logo in the back glow? Yes. Yes, you did. And the Toyota logo in the front. <laughs> well, well, I can't see that. Hey, turn your lights on. Did you? Yes. Oh, okay. Let's go. Your spokes are kind of glowing. Oh, no. No. One time you have a good run on the bank and I biff it into the wall. One time. I usually do half lead on that bank. This is true. Get a couple more runs here in the A90, and then we're going to switch it up to the 370Z. Keep throttle heavy. Keep throttle heavy. Good thing we don't have tires. Otherwise, we'd be out of them already. Good thing that's a cone I can go through. <laughs> right, you can it go through all the cones here. We are on DCGP OSW, not the VDC OSW. Um, so these cones are not solid like VDC cars. Bank up there. I downshifted early. That threw that I'm off. Gonna punt at that clip a little bit, but this A90 handles so much better on this power band. So excited to have these cars fully done and ready to go public. Now I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the other car pack that I've been talking about with the street cars and stuff like that. I'm still working on that. I'm trying to get the cars perfect and get the cars how I like them before I bring them out to you guys. But I've also been working on this comp pack because I want to do this drift invitational. So, i got a lot of things on my plate right now. Oh man, we right there. Red line popping. Ooh, yeah, boy. That was a good run. It looked good. Oh, it was good. 
It felt good. I got a little bit squirrely in the chase, but you know. Wah! You wrecked my A90. And then you do that. <laughs> you wrecked my new A90. All right, one more run, then I'm gonna switch to the Z. Let's do it. Perfect on that front clip. Down the fourth. Just destroying red line. Ah! Oh. I spawn it. Well, so a nice Supra. Let's uh switch up to Z, shall we? Rest in peace, headphone users. 370 on the line. Yup. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Scraping winglet. Split the fire through the transition. There we go. Oh, yeah. Right in that crease. I hear a Mustang behind me. God damn, that car's loud. <laughs> Let's go. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the process and everything on getting these comp cars ready to compete for you guys. I know a lot of you guys like just break the cars out already, but I want to make sure I don't give you guys cars that are half done because what's the point? Oh, you will rotate off the bank. Hard rotate off the bank. Little bit too much unchaseable. That was all me. <laughs> no, you think? Not usually. I uh I might have caught a little throttle happy there. Uh it's easy to do in a Mustang. Just yeah, do Mustang well. things. Oh, and you give me a second try. Giving you a second try. It's redemption run. I tapped you. <laughs> a little bit. I stalled out, kind of, and I tapped you, and that just was all kinds of wrong. So the 370 is a little bit twitchier, and it has to do with the wheelbase, so it's something I may tweak out a little bit. It is a little bit twitchier than the other cars, but it also is one of the lighter cars compared to some of them. So every car has their own little quirk. They all have the same amount of power and same physics, but because of wheelbase, and uh, track with and everything, they all have their own little driving characteristics. So that's why I wanted to make so many different cars that handle differently. And I realized every single one of my cars are all a different brand. There's not a twin brand car in the mix. Makes it more fun. Oh yeah. So you guys will be able what do you to- want? You want a little American made, you want a little JDM. You want a little German. European, you want a little, you know, it's all there so I think we're gonna get one or two more runs here in the Z before we end this episode off so make sure you follow me on all social media all the fun stuff about you below once again make sure you guys if you guys want to get in the livery contest for that Mustang that Nate's driving all the information will be in the video that I link down in the description box below watch that video make sure you just get all the information all the Google Docs for all the decals and stuff like that If I was in a real car, 360 first time. Oh <laughs> All right, Hello, so I'm gonna smoke show. one final lead run. I almost hit you, but we didn't. We good. It's like we know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, make it a break it run. Final run. 
Oh, Jesus. That was a break in. <laughs> We're going to end it on that one. So make sure you guys follow me. And as always, like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Yeah! <laughs>